What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today is the first episode in my new Nothing to White mainframe series. Now this series is going to be slightly different to other series on the channel just because of the fact I'm going to be doing the entire Nothing to Something on my main account. Now the reason I have to do this is because none of my alt accounts are above level 250. And if you didn't know, Epic brought this stupid new rule in that to unlock everything to do with trading, you need to be level 250. Now yes, I could have sort of done the Nothing to Something on a level 100 account, but it's still a little bit restricted because if you're level 100 to 250, 250, you can only put 10,000 credits into the trade window. So to buy a white mainframe with pure credits is impossible without a middleman. So I'm going to be doing this series on my main account. I gave all of my credits and all of the items in my archive to my sister, and I'll use the archive for all of the items related to the Nothing to Something series. I hope you guys don't find it too confusing the fact I'm using my main account, but yeah, let's just get straight into the video. And before we do get into the video, everyone knows that credits from the item shop are extremely expensive. But AOA provides cheaper credits and cheaper Rocket League items for every console and every platform. Now, there's safety and security for every single order you make, and if you want 6% off, use my code UNLUCKY at checkout, because everyone knows how unlucky I am. And also, remember to use my creator code in the item shop, HT underscore FER, because it really helps support the channel. Okay, it feels good to be back. Buying three non-crate very rares for 20 credits each. I know I can flip these uh, for 40 credits each, so that's making double credits on what I've just spent. Now, I always start my nothing to some things with buying non-crate very rares, but to decide, I, today I decided to change it up and maybe try a different method to start out getting profit, just to show you guys there are multiple methods to start out getting any profit you can. So I decided to buy 24 Painted Limiteds for 10 credits. Now, this guy had three screens and obviously wanted 10 credits for each screen. Now, most of these items he's selling me are completely worthless, but it's about those one or two items in the trade windows that are actually worth maybe 100 or 200 credits. Like those white polyurgic inverteds, for example, that purple remix GXT probably sell for about 50 credits, so I can easily make profit off those items and the rest will just go to junk. Now, I'm buying unpainted emeralds for 10 credits plus one of those random junk items that guy just gave me. Uh, the emeralds can probably sell for 100 credits pretty easily, so that's a W in my books. <laughs> well, as I was just saying, the emerald would sell for 100, selling the emerald for 100 credits. That's what, times 10 on one item very early on in the series? These RLCS items are quite good to make profit from. Now, I'm selling that one non-crate very rare uh, for 40 credits, making 20 credits profit on it. Easy done, the non-create very rare method will always work, it stood the test of time and it's just it still works to this day. Buying these four items for 70 credits, now the uh, Octane Decal and the Emeralds can sell for 200 total. The, pr the other white Rocket Pass items probably won't sell but I already know I can make profit from those Emeralds and that Octane Decal. Now selling the final two non-create very rares in my account for 80 credits. Uh, just to bump up the amount of credits I have easily, and then I can just start buying and buying and buying. I think I'm going to try and buy as many RLCS items as I can, because they seem to be really good. So, as I said, buying a Sniper Unpainted Emerald for 10 credits. Uh, as I said before, I can easily sell this for 100. The Sniper set might push up the price a little, but not too much. Uh, selling the Octane RLCS decal for 100 credits, already making profit because I bought it for 70, but I also bought that Emerald with that same 70, so I'm easily going to make so much profit from that trade. Uh, yeah, buying another Octane RLCS straight back for 10 credits. So, not only did I buy one for 70 and then sell it for 100, I not, then bought another one for 10 credits that I can now sell for 100 as well. Um, buying a Dominus RLCS this time and a Fennec RLCS X for 10 credits each. Again, I'm pretty sure both of these decals can sell quite comfortably for 100 credits, which is why I'm buying them for 10 credits each. Um, a Hustle Browse Topper for 10 credits. Now this one was a bit weird because Hustle Browse are worth 50 credits, but they're very hard to sell because not many people wear toppers and want toppers. So we'll just have to see how easy that is to sell. Now selling the Octane RLCS, as I said I would, for 100 credits after buying it for 10 credits. Again, a very good deal and I recommend doing this if you're starting out. Uh, selling that Fennec RLCS X decal for 100 credits after buying it for 10 credits. So this one definitely could sell for 100 credits. We'll just have to see about how the Dominus RLCS sells because I've never sold a Dominus RLCS before. Well, huh, would you look at that? A non-crit exotic for the Dominus RLCS, definitely very good because a non-crit exotic sells for 200. So I've basically turned 10 credits into 200 credits with one flip. Now buying the Dominus RLCS X and another Hustle Browse for 20 credits each. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to make profit off the Hustle Browse, but I think the uh, Dominus decal I will make profit from. Uh, we'll just have to see though. 
selling the purple remix GXT and black polyergic inverteds for 100 credits total. Now considering I bought these for like 10 credits, not even each, just as part of a big trade, I've already made profit on those trades, so I can comfortably sell the rest of those Rocket Pass items if I can. Now buying three more RLCS items for 10 credits each, one of them being painted, however the forest green paint probably is going to be almost impossible to sell, I don't see anyone like paying for forest green decal, when the decal itself is not already not very popular. As you can see I've gone kind of crazy with these RLCS items, buying them all, loads of them for 10 credits each. Now that your bands and the RLCS Octane in there can definitely sell for 100 credits each, so I would have already made profit on this trade, and then the other little random ads can probably sell for 50 credits each, but we'll see as time goes on. Now I'm selling one of the emeralds I have in my inventory for 100 credits, uh, just getting loads more credits up. The only annoying thing is, is because all my items in the archive I can't easily see how many credits I have as time goes on, <laughs> so we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, Fennec Yorban's now selling this for 100, already making profit on that big trade I bought loads of RLCS items for 80, and now selling the Yorban's for 100, I've already made a bit of profit on that and still got loads of items ready to sell. Now, buying a Fennec for 300 credits, now this point in time the Fennecs were crashing hard, uh, so buying for 300 was pretty easy, but yeah, I'm not quite sure how they're going to sell, so we'll just have to see. Um, now, selling this non-crate exotic for 200 credits, <laughs> so... Basically, I bought a non crit exotic for 10 credits uh, because I bought that Dominus RLCS for 10 credits and flipped it for an NCE, so that's a really good trade there. Buying another Fennec Yorbans for 10 credits. The reason I kept buying these is because they sell for 100 really easily, so buying for 10 is such a good profit margin, i just got to keep doing it. It's addictive. Now, I managed to sell the uh, Fennec for 100 credits profit. On my main account, I would have kept it um, because it did rise a ton, but... The thing is, on a nothing to something, I want to keep flipping items rather than making investments because it's more fun to watch flipping items. Now, selling the Fennec Yorbans I literally just bought for 10 credits for 100 credits. Uh, this I've just gone crazy with all this RLCS item flipping. <laughs> it's made me so much profit at the start of this series, I might as well keep going. Uh, and selling the final emeralds I have on my account for 100 credits. Now... I've got quite a lot of stuff in the archive, but a lot of it's trash, so I'm going to probably start focusing on buying items now, because I need items I can flip. So, going to buy a Solar Flare Black Market for 100 credits. I'm pretty sure I can sell this thing for 200 credits, making an easy 100 credits profit on a first Black Market of the video. Um, I actually managed to sell these Crimson Esoto 4R Inverteds for 200 credits. This is way over max on the spreadsheet, but this guy wanted to overpay because he really wanted them for his like red interstellar Fennec design. That's what I mean, like, these items, Rocket Pass items, are always trash, but sometimes you can get lucky and find great deals for them. Now, I bought this Fennec after Fennec's rose a lot. I bought it for, I think, 180 credits under minimum price, but Fennec's are really weird right now because they actually are very hard to sell. Um, I ended up buying two for this same price, uh, which was a bit of a risk because I had absolutely no idea how hard they are to sell, but I guess we'll just have to see if I manage to sell them. Now, selling one of these Hustle Brows for 50 credits, one of them, obviously I bought them both for 10, so selling one for 50 is a good profit margin, but it did take a while. I'm just slowly listing these up and eventually getting them sold. Now, for the final trade of the video, we're buying an Anodize for 50 credits, and I know this thing can sell for 120, so this is definitely a steal. Thank you very much for watching guys, please like, subscribe and leave a comment down below your thoughts on the series so far. Remember to join my Discord server, the link will be in the description down below and check out AOA if you need cheap credits. Remember to use my code for 6% off.